So let's take a look on what you can do with speech to note. So first things first, you can select your preferred note format. There are 30 plus pre-built note formats that you can do or select with speech to note and start recording your notes. Uh, this ranges from email to creating Instagram caption to creating Twitter thread. Yes, I still call it Twitter. Uh, or you can go ahead and make a simple to-do list as well. Uh, but let's stick to Simple Clear. What Simple Clear does is just, it just takes whatever you say uh, and uh, gives you back in well formatted output. Right. So in the settings, you can go ahead and select your uh, transcript language, transcript language, and uh, then you can also select the language of language of summary. So both I have kept as English by default. Uh, you can al always go and uh, make the changes if you need. So I'll just close this. Now I can start recording. So if I hit on this, I can start recording my message right away. Uh, sometimes it doesn't work if you haven't given the proper microphone for permissions. But if, if you have, uh, you can start recording right away. Uh, a few more things. You can discard the recording by de clicking on this delete icon as well. And then at any given point of time, you can pause the recording. Uh, you can pause the recording or you can also play the recording to resume the recording back again. You can stop, you can hit the stop and uh, this recording will stop and it will start giving you the summary of whatever you have said. First it will generate the transcript and then it will give you the summary. Uh, right below it, uh, it shows you 148 longer audio credits remaining. So this is for Pro Plus users. Uh, so users who are on our Pro Plus plan can record up to 60 minutes. but uh, every second that is recorded above 15 minutes uh, is reduced from 150 longer audio credits. So we give 150 longer audio credits on a monthly basis to our Pro Plus users. Uh, they can purchase more longer audio credits as well. But what we have found out that in most of the cases, these uh, longer audio credits are not being utilized by majority of the users uh, as uh, most of their notes are under 15 minutes and uh, any of our notes under 15 minutes are absolutely free of cost. And then you, the same rules apply for if you're trying to upload an audio file as well. So you can upload in various different formats. Uh, we support MP3, M4A, OGG, uh, or like every popular format out there is supported by speech to note at this point of time. Uh, below this, you see the list of all the notes that have been reported by me. You have a search functionality. You can filter by tags, you can filter by formats. Uh, it is very simple for you to filter out the entire list. We are also working on the folder structure functionality, which will be coming soon uh, as, as I'm speaking. So let's, let's ch check, it, check how the uh, overall accuracy of this particular transcript is, right? So if I stop this now, it will give me a hang on message, which will stay here for around 10 to 20 seconds. Okay, it wasn't even that much. So here you can see the transcript is uh, here. Like you, you can see the transcript right on the screen. And here it is trying to generate the summary in simple clear format. In the meantime, if I can, if I want, I can add a tag to it. And you can see like, uh, this is the simple clear format. Uh, in English, uh, and uh, uh, I, I can see the same transcript, but uh, in a well-formatted way in this particular text, right? Now, a uh, good part about speech to note is you can utilize the same transcript that is being shown here. You can click on show transcript and use the same transcript to add various different formats. So you can click on add format, and then you, you can list what format you want. So for example, I can still go with simple clear uh, or or let's say I were to create a LinkedIn post out of this. So I can select a LinkedIn post or an email maybe. Let's say email and I'll select English and I'll hit that arrow which means generate and it will start generating an email out of the same transcript uh, that was recorded earlier. Right. So I don't need to re-record my messages. I can just keep on adding uh, various different formats uh, for the same recorded message. So yeah, there you go. Uh, 
a very nicely written formal email is in front of us. I hope this message, message finds you well. Now, you can uh, copy this text from here or if you don't want to copy the markdown formatting, you can just come here and do control or command all and you can copy it like that and, and paste it in your uh, email client or wherever you, whatever you're using, right? Uh, you can come back to dashboard now let's see like you know what all things you have in the settings area so if you go to the settings uh, there are a lot of different things you can you can uh, specify your default format and you can also specify your favorite formats so for example i have these four favorite formats and these are all my tags right uh, i can click on each of the tags if i want i can delete them as well uh, but yeah this is where all my uh, tags are uh, present and then I can also uh, make or specify my default format for now it is simple here but I can I can choose anything I can choose email I can save my changes and my changes will get applied uh, and if I and just go back to simple here because that's that is what I use the most and I'll save it again uh, another interesting thing you can definitely upload your profile picture uh, but you can come to custom formats uh, as a Pro Plus user, you get access to custom formats, which allows you to write your own rules. Uh, so you can add a format. Uh, we can say like, uh, add an icon. Uh, I can say something like, oh, in the stand up. You, you can use the transcript variable as well. So we have added this here in the instructions. So I can say, use the transcript and uh, write rewrite it like an Indian stand up comedian include Hindi phrases in between whenever required right and this is a quick information so i can just say in stand up fight so this is the main instruction that your format will follow uh, you can add up to thousand characters for this so this basically gets passed as a prompt to uh, uh to the model for summary generation right along with your transcript so uh, in place of this transcript variable, your transcript will be placed and uh, uh, it will be utilized for uh, the overall uh, summary generation. So let's let's try this out. I, I can add this custom format. So I've added this. As a Pro Plus user, you can add up to 15 custom formats, 5.0. So let's go back uh, to a form. I'll go to this uh, recently generated format. I can again click on this and then search for Indian stand-up as you can see this is here I'll select the language English and I'll regenerate it so good part about speech to note is you don't need to uh, regenerate or lose on the samples that you have created with the help of AI we are using GPT core behind the scenes we do have plans to include other models as well so let's see like all right folks let's dive into the tech puddle with a little masala twist, shall we? Here we are in the absolutely tagatak world of voice recording where you hit that button and shuru ho jao straight away without any bakwas. So yeah, it is. Uh, the more thorough your instructions will be, the better your summary would be. So that's more or less about like, you know, what you can do with speech to note uh, in these times. And uh, yeah, I think that's that's all it's a pretty simple tool uh give it a try and join the community like you can easily join the community by clicking on this button which will take you to our telegraph community and yeah give it a try and let us know uh, about your thoughts cheers